Hi, Ornella, Bella, and Tarsis. So yeah, let's let's have a look at if we can fix that issue that we're having with regards to the count points in Polygon. So what I've got here is I've actually I've installed um, QGIS uh, 3.10 uh, Karuna, which is what you've got, I believe. So if we have a look at um, the service areas that we're looking to to count points in Polygon for, and then we type count down here, you'll see there. Um, that it does not have the option for count points in Polygon. So there should be another one there. So if we try to run this one, it adds a couple of extra options here which we don't want. We don't want to create a new uh, layer. We want to populate an existing field. So that is not right. So my suspicions are that it is because we have a different version of the software running. So if we just double check what we're currently running, we can go to About and then select the version or click on about again and you can see the QGIS version is 3.10.14 uh, Karuna so we need to uninstall that so we're going to do that next so you can close down your QGIS so we can uh, I'm just going to discard changes I don't want to keep anything there okay and then what I need to do is uninstall that so if you click on your in, your, in Windows in your little search bar at the bottom left hand corner of your screen you click on the little search bar there and you type in add or remove programs then you're going to open add or remove programs and that'll give you a list of all the installed programs on your system and we need to go and choose QGIS so you can type in QGIS into this little search bar again and then select QGIS and then click uninstall and click uninstall again and that'll give you the option here which uh, allow you need to allow your just to make changes to your device so we click yes and then it pops up with another little window and you can say next uninstall and let that run and that shouldn't take too long to uninstall QGIS from your system so I'm just going to let that run through and uninstall And when it's finished, you'll get a little message telling you that it's finished. So we can click finish and we can close this down and it should now be uninstalled. So if I if I go to my folder, my QGIS folder and I open it up and I, you will see that all those shortcuts have disappeared. OK, so that should now be uninstalled. So that is great. That folder can actually travel. You can delete that folder off your desktop and then I want to download the latest version of QGIS. So so let's open up your browser and we're going to go to the QGIS homepage. So just type in QGIS.org and enter. And we'll see the latest version of QGIS is 3.16.7 LTR. So we, we do want the long term release one. We don't want the latest version uh, 3.18. We want 3.16. So just click on download now and then scroll down to find the version that suits your system. So we want the long term release and we're going to go for 3.16 and if you're running Windows uh, 10 on your systems or your PCs you'll need to download this version so click on this one to download it and that'll get downloaded into your download folder on your computer and once it's downloaded we'll run it uh, from our system to install the latest version of QGIS okay so mine's already downloaded and what I've done is I've cut it out of my download folder so out of this folder the downloads folder and I've just pasted it on my desktop so here it is here so I'm going to need to install this latest version of QGIS but before I do that I want to reboot my system so I'm going to reboot my computer and then restart your computer okay so my system has rebooted and now it's just a case of running that exe so just double click on your exe and that'll pop up with this little window. Do you want to install and make changes to your device? We we'll just select yes. And then you'll probably get another dialog window that looks like this. And you click next. I agree, next. And we're not going to install any dummy data. We we'll just say install and let that install and unpack onto your system. Okay, so that says that is finished, so I can click finish 
and then what you get uh, is a little folder and inside that little QGIS folder there's the desktop icon which I'm going to make a copy of I'm going to copy that and then just paste it on my desktop so that I have another shortcut and I'm going to, I always like to drag this on to my second screen and then the exe, the installation file, I'm just going to delete oh great, okay so now we can uh, run QGIS 3.16.7 which is called Hanover and see if that has fixed our little issue that we were having with that count points in polygon algorithm okay so I've opened up that same project now and if we quickly have a look under help and about we'll see we've got the latest version Hanover running and now we need to see if that little count points in polygon option is any different so we go count there we go and we can immediately see that there are two more options under the edit selected features count points in polygon so if we double click on that you'll see it is slightly different so this algorithm is slightly different this is going to update uh, an existing field that is within our layer as opposed to the other option which was this one I believe which gives you extra points and allows you to create sorry extra options and allows you to create a new layer uh, completely which we don't want we just want to update an existing field which will really speed things up for you. So that's that's how you can fix that problem. Just make sure you, you uninstall and install the latest version of QGIS and you will then have that option two, count points in Polygon and just update your existing field. That's it, hope that helped. Chat soon, cheers.